the man, the myth, the legend, the loser. Captain Quark, once the idol of everyone in the galaxy. Okay, welcome back to a very special episode of Rash and Clank going Commando Developer Commentary. Oh, I've been excited for this episode for so long, Tony. This, yeah, for the whole uh, two hours that we've been doing this. Uh, you're, you're ruining the, you're ruin, the, it's been weeks, Tony. Yes, oh, yeah, we've been, oh, man. You're, you're not supposed to let them know we recorded these in big batches. It's so, it's so difficult to find time to do these commentary episodes. We only do them when we get a chance. <laughs> Just working around our hectic schedules, trying to get these done. So this is level five? Level five. The and this first... would be... The first level I ever did. Uh, my inauguration to the games industry, uh, right here, and we're about to just relive my horrible, horrible failures. And this as a game developer, I just want to say to start off with the looks great. I think it looks great. Great looking level. Great, yeah, great, uh, great opening view. I think this was one of the first, uh, the first levels we ever did for this game. Also, I just want to point out to people, just so we can, you know, I, I like pointing out all the little details, as you know. Uh, opening views in this game were not taken lightly. Not in, at all. In none of the Ratchet games were they taken lightly. Yeah, they were. I mean, th so much time. I mean, making sure that that first shot into the level sort of made people, wow, was hugely important for us. As a, as a designer, the first two things that you learn uh, on a Ratchet game is, one, you must have a good opening view, right? And, right. and that, that is sacred. You have to have that. And the right. second one was you must put shortcuts back from the end of the level to the beginning <laughs> of the level. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, let's... Uh, so this is the uh, first part of, the, of my wonderful level. And this bri the bridge that you totally skipped, even that has a story to tell. That um, bridge? Well, the elevator, I suppose, has a story to tell. Go ahead. Normally, elevators just go straight up and down. The camera will not allow an elevator to go straight up and down there. So we had to build this super awkward ramp for the elevator to sit on uh, in this whole section because the camera would would just be caught up on that wall as that elevator went up and down as it's so oddly shaped. Um, I have an interesting story about this level. Let's go ahead and let's hear it, Mike. Uh, do you remember originally, uh, like way back in this level, we had pedestrians? Yes. Uh, and they were supposed to walk along these little paths. And they were little little robots, like the ones later on uh, uh, that, that just walk around. And they were supposed to just walk on a path, and then a, an energy door would appear from the ground over here. And then they would walk into the energy door, and it would close behind them. And they were just – and I, I coded these things and, and put them in. And they were such a pain in the ass. <laughs> uh, that we had to take them out just for 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 timing's sake. Let's uh, start out going straight that way. Yeah, let's, let's go there first. This is this is the optional segment. Uh, originally, in this level, going this way was where you got the the hydro pack gadget, which is now cut. Right. Uh, so I think that's why at the end of this level, all you get is a nanotech upgrade. And the swarmers in this level are the chicken bots. Uh, once again, because of my complete inability to make swarmers. Uh, the original swarmers for this level were supposed to be these sort of six-legged alien things, but I am so bad at making swarmers that we cut them because they just sucked. Uh, great design, nothing, nothing to knock their design or whatever, but they could never behave right. Uh, they would, con they were sort of built long, so they were constantly clipping into each other and running into each other. It was a bit of a, a fiasco with those old swarmers. I, uh, I wonder. If, I, I kind of wonder if we still have the art somewhere. That maybe they might have snuck in some at some place. They might be in the, arena, the uh, Insomniac Museum. Entirely possible. I remember there was a skill point about shooting the boats in this level. Yeah, we haven't been going for the skill points. We've, that's sort of something we've been uh, ignoring. Well, but, but this was back in the day when we didn't tell you what the skill points were ahead of time. Yeah. Uh, you just had to figure them out. Why did we do skill points exactly? Because uh, this was Replay. pre Xbox 360 achievement sort of stuff. Yeah, we did them. What, where did we get this idea to do skill points? They did them in in the original Spyros. Uh, okay. I think, and so it was just a thing that Insomniac did. Oh, dude, that ball effect. That ball effect. So that yeah, this was this was I think. If you can go into the Monster Pity and get their name, I don't recall what they're called, but 
I think those guys were the first guys I ever did when I was trying to figure out what exactly was going on. Uh, they kind of just gave me this level, and uh, they said, do it. And I was like, what do you mean, do it? And I'm like, well, make the level. Uh, I'm like, what, what does that even mean? And I'm like, well, you know everything that the level has to do? I'm like, yeah. And I'm like, well, make it do that. And it was just like, it was ridiculous to, to think where I was like, well, okay, where, where do I start? He's and not like, a brute. Where, it, it, it's, yeah, I don't know what exactly it's called. He's it's not the Bugs for Less something. He's not in the Monsterpedia yet, I don't think. But, huh, strange. Uh, I'll, I'll look one more time. But, uh, yeah, so there's the Brute. And then there's the Femme. There he is. Yeah, henchman. the uh, Henchman. The, yeah. Okay, so the Henchman. And uh, so, yeah, I mean, it was so bizarre to me because they, cause they didn't even give me the... Uh, so the way, uh, again, Insomniac works, to pull back the curtain a little bit, is that... Uh, you don't get well. This the is level. how they worked. Yeah. Well, you don't get the level sort of one day delivered to you and it's all done. You get a, a prototype locked in level, which is the basic geometry of the map, locked in as cubes and squares and untextured or textured with just primary colors, as a basic sort of layout of what the level is going to look like. And you start working in the prototype level, and then eventually you get your final art and you get to actually build the level. And so they basically gave me this prototype level, which is like nothing like a video game level, and said, all right, start making the game. And uh, I had to just start with the brute and try to make him run around the world and be interesting and fun. With And it was uh, trial by fire, really, just get, started working on this level. Nice, nice with the, the, the falling globes. Oh, these are all gray, yeah. 100%. The breakables are all gray. This awesome breakable right here in the center, is probably the coolest breakable we have in the game. Right? We don't have the rocket launcher yet, though, so I don't I think I think you can... can kill it with the blitz cannon. Oh, here we go. You have to kill all the orbiting things first, and then you can blow up the center. Okay. Oh, man. Okay, blitz cannon. Yeah, um, blitz cannon should work. The, uh... uh... Yeah, there we go. Holy shit. Look at that. Oh, oh we got amazing. A point. There we go. If you look over to the left, I think there's some embarrassing... These these stupid rockets. Oh, you just killed them. Awesome. What did I do? Oh, no, there's still one left. That is probably the worst water effect in the history of water effects. Is that you? I think that's me. Oh, yeah, and uh, I remember you had to make this Therminator water. Did I? Yeah. I don't think that's Terminator water. Yeah, no, not all. Oh, it did. Wow. Okay. <laughs> if there was water, it had to be. It had to be Terminator water. water. Uh, wow. Unless it was an ocean. We, you you couldn't Terminator oceans. We... Did I change that effect off that rocket fountain when it's all Terminator water? Uh, no. No, I did not. Uh, so not, th not that, my finest moment. That effect. That little sparkly globe effect, I think, was the very first special effect you ever made. Uh, it's entirely possible. Uh, I remember, might have been ripped off from something. I I'm not exactly sure. blatantly stole that effect from you. Did you? And used it for a long time as the prototype effect for the uh, electrolyzer. Oh, okay. But it was so prohibitively expensive. It's really an expensive effect. <laughs> that I think, what I, a... I think what I eventually did was I took Tim's particle that's good for all particles and then used that. I see. The one particle to rule them all. This was also this. a love. I think this section, at least, was designed by Colin. Uh, yeah. Just more shout outs to people who had things to do with the game. Uh, and you know what? Colin is another one of those people who sort of shared my uh, useless desire to not have things idle around and, you know, just be standing there. And in this level, they're all posing as mannequins in the windows. Yeah. And uh, then they jump out and then they start fighting you. Which I think was a nice little touch yeah. for him to like sort of be pretending that they're actually fooling you well, by when, hiding his mannequin in the windows. When I talk to people in the industry who uh, who love Ratchet and Clank, and there's a lot of them, it's funny. Uh, you know, when I was working at Insomniac, I I didn't meet casually a lot of Ratchet and Clank fans, but since leaving Insomniac, oh, 